Hello everybody, today we are going to do a video on my car so we are going to do tinting uh, windows and I am going to show you how it is done with the professional window tinting installer so let's go and start with the first steps so obviously the first steps to do is to clean up uh, your windows completely so the foil will not uh, leave any marks and we are going to see how it is done and after cleaning the window you want to apply the window tinting from outside so you want to take the measures uh, from the outside obviously pay attention uh, from which side is the glue on the foil uh, because then you will put it from the inside so this is to take measures now and uh, now because the rear one is pretty uh, how to say it's not even it's not flat so he need uh, to take the windows heater uh, just to apply it to uh, take the proper shape of the rear window so this is how you need to do it for the rear one uh, just to take the proper shape So now the foil is heated, as you can see it took the proper shape of the rear window and uh, now just uh, take a bit of minutes uh, to cool it down and then he can apply it from the inside. And now for the side window, so you need to uh, put a lot of like uh, wet to apply and then uh, again clean all the small uh, debris or any dust and then again from the outside he will apply to take the shape and uh, these ones you don't need to heat but uh, for these ones you need to put, put it a bit down uh, so make sure to remove here anything uh, that it will be the obstacle later on for the foil I will show you that in a moment so here what we use is the regular water and a bit of shampoo so apply it here on the glass then when you put the foil uh, it will not move up up or down it will just stay still and then you can take the proper measures uh, like you see here so you can see even how it goes by itself like applying and especially if it is windy if you don't have the garage uh, this is especially useful and later on you will see from the inside as well he will apply the wet again so he can move it before it's glued to the to the glass And make sure to have a very sharp razor so you don't cut uh, the foil uh, it needs to be really sharp as you can see here even the small small details it is cutting without any problem so now as you can see from the inside he's applying again uh, the same liquid and then he will just transfer uh, this foil uh, from the inside so now he's removing the protective layer and now this side is where is the glue so again apply the liquid here so it does not stick to the window immediately so you can move it back and forth So you can see now how he is putting it down and check the shape, it's perfect, like it's perfectly aligned because you take the proper shape from the outside. So now what he will do, he will just start removing the liquid slowly, slowly and uh, as you can see it will go away from the side and uh, then you leave your car somewhere on the sun and it will be perfect without any bubbles inside or anything like that just make sure to uh, put all the liquid outside and leave it somewhere on the sun so you can see now he's closing the window and uh, the downside also he will do and make sure to leave a bit space down so when you close the window and up or down so it will not tear apart or something like that and you can see now the small details uh, how he will remove all these small small 
uh, liquid which is left inside. So just the final touch if you want to do with the heater. So no need even to put it on the sun. Uh, he will just do the final part and this one is done. You can see how quickly it is and it looks so easy but that is only when the professionals are doing it. As you can see it's perfect and we will see it also outside when we clean the window how it will be. Now you can see when the window is clean it's perfect and like I said we will do also from the outside so you will see the difference. Uh, what is like uh, how it is without tinting and how it is with the tinting applied. So now the small one here, this one is maybe the easiest one uh, because it's just this triangle he needs to cut and then just apply it from the inside. So this one is very easy for him. Again take the shape from the outside, take the cut part, apply it from the inside and that's it. Again remove the protective layer. So he already apply uh, the liquid from the inside so he will just now uh, transfer this template from the inside You can see now how it looks without uh, the foil, without the tinting, so this is clear and you can see the small one here as well and let's take a look how it looks when it is tinted. So this is the look when it is tinted, when it is completed, so take a look at the difference, like look at the outside, how it is stopping all the sun, so the heating. Uh, the cooling of the car will be much easier when your AC is working. It, this protects from the sun to go inside and then it will keep your car uh, cool very easily like the AC. That's the main reason to put them but as well uh, if your car has this like black uh, thing here and especially it's like combination of uh, black and white this looks perfect you will see outside it looks really beautiful when your car is tinted. So in my country Montenegro it is not allowed uh, to put on the front one of course that you should never do to put tinting on this one here. Uh, it's not also allowed on this one here uh, but it is allowed on this back one here and as well as this one that is allowed with the law and you can put as much as you want. I put 60% uh, from the side so here it's 60% and uh, back I will put 40% so you can see it's even more uh, clear. What is the reason? The main reason behind that is when you are driving uh, on the night, uh, so maybe you are going on reverse, uh, these are not that much important for you, like they can be even 100%, but I would not recommend that. As you can see 60% is more than enough. And uh, the rear one you want to see what is behind you. So luckily I have the sensors on this car, uh, but it's always good like uh, when you are driving that you have a clear look for the cars behind you. Okay, this one is done also. So now this is the most trickiest one. Removing the protective layer. As you can see again applying a lot of liquid. And uh, now let's see how it will be from the inside when he puts it from the inside. So as I said the important thing is that the foil is cooled down. And you will see now how it fits uh, very good because he put uh, like the shape is proper and he put a lot of liquid so he can move it around so you can see now you can see now how there is no any problem like even though this this is not the proper shape like it's a curved glass it doesn't have any problem like when he's doing this now because it already took the proper shape so that is the trick for this rear one as you can see perfect 
Yeah. Just to clean down the window now and you will see. Check the edges like it's totally perfect. <laughs> Now the final one to take out the water even more because you saw here at the edge there is one small one we will remove that one as well this one was from the outside look at this perfect Mm -hmm. Check the small one now. Okay. So heating from the outside and it's done. This is how it's done. Looks so easy when it is done by the profession. Final look, now it's completely done. Let's take it outside to see the final results. So take a look now. Here you can see what is happening there. Here you cannot see, even though it's only 60%. And you can see here what I talked about before. It's visible what is happening for 40%. So this is how it should be done. And that will be all for this video. Thank you very much for watching until the end. If you are from, from Montenegro, you want to do it with the same professional guy, let me know and I will share his contact. That's all. Thanks for watching and until next time. Assalamu alaikum. May peace be upon you.